we do not understand things that do happen or go around us. Amen? Bago natin i-explore to ngayon mga kapatid, mag-fellowship muna tayo, no? Though we are just but manageable in number, yet we still can shake at least three or five persons. Ano? Namimiss ko talaga si Brother Boyet kanina. <laughs> Talagang inang ko si Brother Boyet. Sige ho, tayo muna ito tumayo. Sige ho, uh, sumunggap tayo ng tatlo o limang katao. Tsaka i-hug po ninyo if you can. You kiss if you can. Uh, just tell the brother, I love you with the love of the Lord. And Habakkuk waited for the voice of God in uh, the watchtower or in the tower. Kaya na may tower dyan. I just, you know, drag this as well from the Google. But anyway, your passage po natin ngayon is from chapter 3, verses 17 to 19. Three verses. Do you have your Bibles? Okay po. I included, anyways, the passage para ho mabasa ho natin lahat. Okay? Do you have your Bibles or you may just stare here at the screen? Pwede natin hong basahin tayo hong lahat. I will count us to three, all together, from the English Standard Version. Here we go. One, two, three. Though the fig tree should not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, the produce of the olive fail, and the field shield no fruit, the flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take no joy in the God of my salvation. God the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's. He makes me tread on my high places. God bless the reading of His word. But play, pray mo na tayo. Surrender mo natin ating mga sarili. Taso natin, dalawahan nating mga kamay. Panginoon, naway mga mga Ang tawag ko ng ibang mga uh, Bible scholar kay Habakkuk, he was a complaining prophet. Wala na kasi tayong time na we go expository chapter to chapter or verse to verse. Bibigyan ko na lang kayo ng assignment. Can you make it a promise to me? Three chapters lang po yun eh. You can finish to read in a matter of 15 minutes. Maybe tonight. Or maybe anytime tomorrow or within this week. If you can do, read chapter 1, 2, and 3. Kasi this is the, the latter verses of the chapter. The last three verses, yung 17 to 19, ito na yung finale. This is the, uh, tawag ito, this is the victorious side. Kaya nga, yung uh, theme o yung title mo ng message so natin ngayong gabi ito is From Desperation to Inspiration. Yung chapters 1 at saka 2 kasi, nagsisimula yung si Habakkuk dahil oh, siya huwi palaging nagkukumplain. Talagang he was so desperate. And can you draw to me or can you mimic me, show me a face of a desperate person? Hindi siguro mo magawa no? kasi palagi kang inspired eh. Kasama mo palagi si Christ kasi, si God, di ba? Kaya hindi ka nag expired Hindi tayo na di-desperate, ano? You cannot draw that, you cannot mimic that, you cannot just that to be show that this is how it looks to a desperate for you cannot because you are inspired all the time amen yeah. oh praise god palakpakan doon natin si lord pero hindi si ano si habako kaya nga sa akin niyo yan dahil ho sa kanyang mga hinanakit sa buhay nagko-complain siya sa dios pini-blame niya ang kanyang sarili at ibang tao ganun tayo eh normal tendency yan human tendency pag nasa uh, nasa ano tayo trials at saka testings you know we sometimes question God blame ourselves and blame others doon mo makikita ako sa chapters 1 at saka sa chapters 2 ng Habako pero later on the Lord opened up His mind yun ang kailangan nun natin di ba I keep to say that realization Yung ang Lord ho, magbuklak ba sa mga isipan no natin na ma-realize no natin. Kaya nung dumating yun sa buhay yun ni Habako, hindi na ho siya nagko-complain. Yun ang gusto ni God, na sa buhay yun natin, hindi tayo nagko-complain. Kahit hindi natin, hindi natin naiintindihan anong nangyayari mga kapatid, tayo pa din ay mananalig ho sa Panginoon kahit anong mangyayari. Nakuha ko ninyo? 
Though we may not be understanding what can be happening all around us because to how short-sighted we are, to how low are our understanding, despite we continue and insist to trust the Lord. Because God cannot turn His back away from His people. God is faithful. Amen? Basahin ko lang natin. Ito yung sabi niya, ano no, ni Habakkuk. Sabi niya, Though the fig tree should not blossom, Wala kasing coconut sa ano sa sa Israel no. Wala silang mango, mango tree. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, yun ang national tree ko natin. Eh nga, doon sa kanila parang fig tree. Kumbaga, kahit hindi na magbubunga ang kahoy, kahoy na mangga. Kahit hindi na bubunga yung coconut. Di ba? Sabi niya, yun po ang inaasahan nila doon sa Israel, yung ano, uh, yung fig tree. Even these trees will not bear fruit. He continued to say, No fruit be on the vines. Yung parasan, yung sa ubas, wala, hindi na bubunga. Ibig sabihin, kahit magbaghulo man ang mundo, kahit magkas, maka, mal, ano yun, magkasindimalas, paano yun sa Tagalog? Uh, magkamalas-malas man ang buhay ko. Kahit ano man, uh, babaliktad man ang mundo. Sabi, parang something like, ganun yun. By, ano, by analogy. The produce of the only fail, and the field shield no food. The flock be cut off from the fold. There be no herds in the stalls. Ito yung twist, sabi ko niya. Yet! Sabihan mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo, yet. Yet. Parang, yet. Sige na, i-complete ko na lang natin, say na, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Lagay ko natin yung kamay ko natin sa puso natin. Sige na, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Say that with me. Say, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Kahit ito daw yung mga mangyayari sa mundo, sabi niya, hindi ito, hindi ito uh, makapag-shaken sa aking pananampalataya. Sabi niya, kahit ganun ang mangyayari, I will continue to rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. God the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's. He makes me tread on my high places. Kaya na dito, nagsimula ako siya na desperado. Nagsimula ako siya na palang, palang walang direksyon ng kanyang buhay. Dahil sa lahat ng mga trials na ano, inadaanan doon niya. Later on, nung na-understand na niya ang plano ng Diyos sa kanyang buhay, He turned everything Yung mga nangyayari, kahit wrong situation o yun, he turned that all of those became now his new inspirations. Kaya nga ako nagre-rejoice siya sa Panginoon. Amen? Amen. Palagpakano natin si Lord. Come on. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me present to you some, some truths here. You know what? We always need to have the eyes of faith to see the hands of the Lord on our wrong situations. Sabi ko kanina umaga, it's not a matter of if, but a when. Yung mga wrong situations natin, we have different descriptions kasi trials, testings, storms. But for the sake of this evening, let me use the word wrong situations. Amen? Sabi ko na natin, wrong situations. Wrong situations. this week, nakaranas ba kayo ng wrong situations? Ang alam kasi ng Panginoon, para bagang it is, it is odd, it is unacceptable, it is unexpected you to be in the wrong place at the wrong time to a wrong situation. Kasi anak ka ng Panginoon, pero let me tell you, it is not a matter of if, but when. Minsan talaga mga kapatid, God will just expose us to those situations. After all, why God the Father allowed Jesus to be hanged on the tree. Why did the Father allow Jesus to be nailed on that cursed tree? Hindi natin naiintindihan yan, ay hindi pala, ng mga apostles, naiintindihan natin yan yung salvation. Noon, si Pedro, yung mga apostles, hindi talaga nila naiintindihan yun. For three long days, nagbackslide na sila eh. Sabi nila, bakit? Yung Messiah, na pinapromise sa, sa Old Testament, dumating na. Pero why was he hanged upon the tree? tree? Why did he die? Ladies and gentlemen, kaya nga ako kailangan natin, pag may mga wrong situations na narating mo sa ating buhay, we always need to have the eyes of faith. 
May dalawa kasi tayong klaseng mata, no? Itong natural na mata na ginagamit ko natin, limited lang. Yun lang, hanggang doon mo lang makikita. You cannot know what to happen even five minutes from now, can you? You cannot. Hello, amen? You cannot, you don't have any idea what to trans transpire even following day. Just a day difference lang. But God has. Meron siyang, I mean, God, the Lord knows. God can even, can even understand or does understand and He knows the end before everything begins. That's how God Almighty is. Amen? Bago ho, magsisimula ang lahat, alam na ng Diyos kahit ang katsa, kahit sa katapusan. He's Almighty. Amen? Kaya na sabi niya sa kanyang salita o sa Biblia, Anak, sagot kita, manalig ka sa akin. Kailangan talaga natin yung faith, ang pananampalataya ng mga kapatid. Sabi ho, iwan ang pinakapatandang apostol who lived on earth. At sa labing dalwa, siya lang ho, hindi naman tayo ho, sa unnatural death. Karamihan sa kanila, kinusify sa cross, pinakain sa liyon. Uh, meron ng mga apostol na they were sown asunder, uh, alive. Imagine that, ilalagay ho sa isang malaking ano, uh, isang malaking timber or log. Ano yun? Bubutasan yun sa ilalim. Just enough for the body of the apostles. Tapos, you know, mga timber men, a seasoned timber man would, you know, so gradually, in your power, so, so gradually the log, all together with the body of those apostles. Except for this one, ang pangalan ho niya si John the Beloved, ang sumulat ho sa book of Revelation. Sabi ho niya sa kanyang epistle ho sa 1 John, I think it's in chapter 4, sabi ho niya, we overcome by faith. Alam na ninyo mga kapatid, palagi talaga tayong nananalo. Hindi katalunan. Hindi tayo natatalo. Amen? Amen. Sabihan mo na yung katabi mo, sabi mo, hindi katalunan kapatid. Hindi katalunan kapatid. Sa English yun, you ain't the loss, you ain't the loser, di ba? Palagi talaga tayong nananalo. In fact, sabi ng Diyos, you are more than a conqueror. Si Manny Pacquiao, siya huwing conqueror, siya huwing champion. Si Jinky Pacquiao, siya ho ay more than conqueror. Kasi mas labaw pa siya kay Jinky. Mingo si Jinky, Manny, tulog na ta. Ay dear, sige dear. Manny, tama na yan, okay dear. Di ba? Ang champion ho, yung binigay niya ang kanyang buhay doon sa Kalbaryo. 2,000 years ago, ikaw at ako, we are the Morgan champion. Amen? Isang tawag natin kay Jesus, the Lord, defend us. Siya ho yung advocate ko natin. Siya ho yung, uh, sa Bisaya na, manlalaban. Siya ho yung nagdi-defend ho sa atin. Kung baga, siya yung lawyer ho natin. To God be the glory. Amen? Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, kailangan talaga natin na nice of faith. You know what? I'd like, I'd like to shock you. I'd like you to realize this. The truth is, sabi ng Diyos, there are no bad moments to a child of God. Ha? Ano yun, Pastor? Ha? Ha? Nung Sabado, pinuntahan ko si BJ, hindi, BMS pala. Uh, inisip ko talaga si BJ, anak ko si BJ. Pero di po, yun, namimiss ka namin, no? Si BJ, ho, nakapagga ng tao. Isang araw, ho. Eh, pumanaw yung tao. Laki yung dagok sa family ni na BJ. Pinuntahan ko si BJ. Si na, ano, how would I say that in Tagalog? I just pronounced and spoke the word of God by faith to the young man. Every time I spoke the word of God, si BJ would just fall his tears. I, I, I just, but can I explain what happened to you, man? He just bumped him. I, another person, he just had died Thursday, but look at you. You seem, not just you seem, but you really are strong. What made you strong? What pills you took? Jesus is our solid foundation. Amen? Amen. Sabi ko ni mama ko sa akin, ako din pastor ha. Yung inaalam ni Mamochi, ano yung sasabihin niya sa akin, sabi niya, pastor, ako din ha, magpa-debriefing din ako. Sabi ko, ano yung debriefing, ma'am? <laughs> At ati Vicky, yung talagang, kasama kami ni, kaya nalilita ko eh. Kung pinuntahan namin yung ano, nakita na namin yung asawa, Jay. Talagang mabait yung asawa, Jay. Wala, ang sweldo ka na anak. Is last na lang anak, kailangan bayaran na lang natin in good faith kasi kailangan ng indemnity. 
Hinihintay na lang yung, ano, yung kapatid. Narating siguro bukas or Tuesday. May extend ho ang leading. Okay na ho. Huwag kang, ma, ano, huwag kang mag-worry. Kaya nga, i-continue lang natin sa pag-pray. Anak, kailangan mo ng eyes of faith. Amen? Lahat tayo, nag-pray tayo ni BJ. Ano ho? There are no bad moments. Sige na, kasabihan mo yung, yung sarili mo. Sabi mo, hoy, you don't have bad moments. Sige na, sabi mo, you don't have bad moments. Come on. You don't have bad moments. Because you're a child of God. All you have are only good days and blessed favors. All you have. Sige, sige na, i-convince mo na yung sarili mo. Sabi na, all I have are good days and blessed favors. See you know, all I have, one, two, three. All I have are good, good days and blessed favors. Binigay na lahat ng Diyos na Ama sa atin, yung pinaka, the best that He had, He gave His only begotten Son. The Word of the Lord says, anything He cannot withhold on earth, He can grant, He can give, He can bless. Amen? Wala hong desire natin, wala hong inaasam natin, wala hong pinagpipray natin na ipagkakaito ng Panginoon. Mahal ka ng Diyos. Amen? Amen. Sabihin mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo, mahal ka ng Diyos. Mahal ka ng Diyos. Yan na, sinabi ko kanina, si, ano, si, uh, si Habakkuk, ano, very discouraged siya. Hindi na niya alam ano yung gagawin niya sa unahan kasi wrong things were happening to him. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong people. He even wanted to die. He even wanted to end his life as he was asking God, blaming himself and blaming others. Now later on, he came to realize the Lord opened his mind, the, the Lord opened his understanding. And then later on, he understood that God must have other plans despite. Ganun yun eh. Kahit ano yung mangyayari sa buhay yun natin, may plano ang Diyos sa isa't isang buhay yun natin. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Palagpakan na natin si Lord. May plano talaga si Lord. May plano talaga si Lord. Uh, when Jesus died, in-explain niya ho yun, sabi niya, yung isa daw ang binhi, pag hindi yun mamamatay, mahuhulog daw sa lupa, ililibing. Di ba pag nagtatanim tayo ng buto? Hindi tayo nagtatanim ng buto ng yung ano, yung fresh. Di ba pinapatuyo talaga natin, ano? Kasi yung mangga, pag ano yan, hindi yan, ano, hindi yan, uh, hindi yan dry, may matamis-tamis pa yan, kakainin yan ng, ano, ng, ng, ano, ng langgam. Hindi makakatubo, ano? Kailangan ita-dry talaga yan. Tapos, namamatay na, ano? Ililibin yan, di ba? Tinatapunan natin ng, ano? Ng, ng lupa. Pero this is the miracle of nature. Yung binhing yun, namatay, ililibin mo natin. Three days lang. Tingnan mo yung binhing three days talaga. Resurrection. On the third day, pagkatapos mong inilibin. Yung munggo, lalabas yan, may mag-i-sprout na isang bagong tender plan. Now, after three months, yung mga uh, tawag ito, yung uh, ordinary crops, yung mga seeds, ordinary seeds, three, ano lang, three months, uh, yung corn, yung rice, after three months, yung isang binhi, magmumultiply mo yun into hundreds, hundreds of more seeds. Sabi ni Jesus, unless this seed, he talked about himself, will fall to the ground and die, it will only remain to be alone. But when the seed will fall to the ground and die, it will multiply to be many. Nangyari yun ni Jesus. Siya huwi nahulog. Siya huwi inilibing. But on the third day, He rose again from the grave. And He multiplied. Itong taong to, kasi Jesus is also a human. His death, His burial, and thank God His resurrection happened and took place 2,000 years ago. But even 
late as 2,000 years past to our time, late as to our time, we still are talking about the life of that guy. You are a multiplication. You are a replicate about that life of that blessed seed who, fall, who fell to the ground. Amen? May tao ba dyan? Amen. Hindi ito na yung tibiyano ng mga apostol noon. Kaya nga, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's walk in, with the eyes of faith. Amen? Let's, let's walk with the eyes of faith. I don't know what's in the Bible. Kasi yung Bible, lo, pinapaklaim mo tayo ng wala. Pero later, mga tayo sapagkat wala nang panga pero kiniklaim mo na pinto marating eh sabi ni Lord let the poor say nasa Biblia yan poor ka na lang i-admit mo na lang sana yun ang sa mundo poor nga ako eh poor nga eh pero the Bible say let the poor say come on ako mahirap ako I will say I am rich would you amen amen Sige, sabihan na yung matabi sa mga, I am rich in the name of the Lord. I am rich in the name of the Lord. O let the poor say, O let the weak say. Yun ang sinasabi ko ni Lord. Yung mga bata, yan, si Malino, I'm very happy for my son. Nandito siya ngayon, ano ho? Nami-miss ko si Eya. May testimony pala si Ate Eya, yung may baby daw na para bang namatay. I don't know how to was was her testimony to her mom that she, she prayed out to this little baby uh, because she was she was you know in uh, in this nursery because she was assigned in the nursery nagitim na daw yung baby pinagpipray daw niya in 30 minutes nagano daw nag came to life nag uh, ano yun nag revive daw ulit yung uh, kaya I wanted to talk to my daughter Mi, may iya kasi ako pag ano eh kaya I avoid to talk to her <laughs> Itong mga mga bata, ito maliliit pa sila. Simula yan kinder, hanggang high school, nag-graduate na hanggang ngayon, hindi yan lalabas ng buhay. Ah, ng bahay, sorry. Hindi lalabas ng bahay kung hindi magpa-pray. Ama, can you pray for me? I will lay my hands. Kahit sinas na yun. Then ito yung ipag-pray ko, Lord, you grant wisdom to my child. You grant, Lord, your divine ability. Lord, prayer ko po that they will be the head and not the tail. They will be over and not under. Lord, keep niyo sila away from bad influences. Yan yun ang mga usual prayers ko. Alam po ninyo, nagkatutuo yun mga brothers and sisters. Kasi ho, we ought to walk with the eyes of faith. Isang araw ho, matada ho ano, propeta, hindi na siya makakita. Kasi yung kanyang katandaan kasi eh, nagbulag na sa kanya. Anong sakit kaya yun? Yung pagmatanda na, nagbulag. Siguro mataas ang sugar, ano? Pero may bata siya, ano, yung assistant. Madaling araw, alas 4, sila yung pinaligiran ng mga kaaway. Nagmumumog yung, ano, yung kanyang, ano, yung kanyang assistant. Nalunog niya ang kanyang pinumog na tubig sapagat nakita niya doon sa buong mukirin. Na sila yung pinalibutan ng mga kaaway. Nagtaranta itong ano, batang ano, uh, alagad ng propeta. Sabi niya, Prophet, Prophet, alas, we are going to die. We are doomed. Because I saw outside the window, our house is being surrounded with Assyrian armies. Ito yung lahi ni, ano, ng mga ISIS. Kasi, ang Assyria kasi, nandiyan yan sa Iraq, sa Syria. This, This way are the same people. Alam niyo nila, noon pa yan, pinupuputan nila ang tao. Dalawa lang sila, yung matanda, bulag pa, at saka si, yung kanyang ano, kanyang alagad. Sabi ng matanda, dito yung ano, bata, dito siya kausap, kasi hindi man makakita. Huwag ka mabahala, ikaw, anak. Hindi yung anak, hindi dito, dito ako, siya eh. Anak, para take to, take to. Anak, huwag kang mabahala. Sapagkat, yung, sa English pa, He who is a uh, he who is with us are more than they who are against us. Sino yung mas marami sa sino yung para sa atin mas marami pa kaysa mga nakita mo nasa labas. Ano ba tong tao to? Matanda na yan eh, ulianin na. 
hindi pa nga makakita, sabi pa niya, mas marami yung ano, kasama ho natin. Eh yung bulag ngayon, nagsasabi niya, Panginoon, pakibukas ko ang mata ng itong batang to. Kasi yan din siya nakakita, yun ang tinatawang na Isaac Fick. Nung na binuksan ho, yung spiritualized na ano, nung alaga do, siya ho'y mangha. Sapagkat doon po sa mga bu sa bukid, alas 4 ng madaling araw, maano pa yun, ah, makulimlim pa, eh, madilim pa pala ay nagbabaga ho sa, ano, sa liwanag ho ng mga sundalo ho, mga anghel, mga, ano, yung mga angels ho, they are fiery in their swords and everything. They were by the thousands. Sabi niya, shh, huwag kang matingay. Sapagkat isang hudyat ko lang, yung mga anghel yan, they are going to lay an ambush against those who are coming against us. Nangyari na, Pinulag lahat. Sabi ko ng Biblia, 120,000 soldiers. Imagine, no? Kung bahay ninyo, ano ba yung residence ninyo? Bawiga, residence. Uh, mayroon kasi ano, definition ho sa, ano, sa, sa family code, yung home. Family home. Uh, family home con constitute, constitutes jointly the father and the mother or Minimorize ko yan, yung family home. Dalawa lang kayo ng iyong tatay, yung nanay. Tapos 120,000 lulusog sa iyo. Bulag din kasama mo. Sabi niya, Lord, open their eyes. Tawag nun, eyes of faith. Amen? There are no bad moments to child of God. All are good days and blessed favors. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Meron kong two more things I would like to present to us this evening. Number one, we ought to be constantly reminded by the Word of God. Kaya nga, i-admit po natin, we are human beings short of memory. Sige lang, sabihan mo yung katabi mo, kapitid, sabi mo, uh, mas maintindihan natin, kung sabihin na natin, low memory, kasi tayo, low, low memory, no? <laughs> sabi mo, low memory tayo, sis, bro, low memory tayo, sis. <laughs> Sa college days ba ninyo, nagkahambugan yung mga minsan, no? Yung, ay, yung ano ko, yung, ano ko, USB. Hindi na USB sa akin. Ano, yung, ang tawag nyo yan, yung external. External drive sa akin. Sa akin. Ah, oh, ano lang, 4 gig lang. Ay, hindi sa akin, 8 gig. Ha, ah, sa akin, 16 gig. Hindi, sa akin, 32. Hindi, sa akin, 64. Ay, hindi, sa akin, 128. Ay, sa akin, hindi lang gig. Ano mga kasunod sa gig? Ito. Ano yun? Oh, yun. Kaya nga, kahit 1 million thousand. Ano yung 1 million thousand? Kahit 1 million movies ilalagay ko dito, kuwala na, bro! Ang mugero. Pero tayong tao, short memory tayo, nakakalimot talaga tayo. Kaya we need to be reminded always by the Word of God. Kasi ang Word of God lang ang makapag-change sa mind mo natin. Inet mo na ninyo. Wala na kasi kaming TDN sa bahay. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Baga kaming nakakatulog. Nag-i-study. <laughs> Sira yung TV namin. Wala na. Ay, hindi ka namin. Kasi, kasi kailangan mag-study. Ano, ano pala yung mga soap opera ngayon na kinagigiliwan ng mga, ng mga may bahay ngayon? Oo. Oh, iba pa lang tinitinan yung tidelya ko. Doon sa iPad niya yung ano man. Binigyan siya ni Kamalil ng ano, yung subtitle, yung ano, Hujo! 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 Oh, ganda na yun. Mali? Sina? Oh! <laughs> Sina ng basa. <laughs> Tinitira ni Auntie Delia. Pero at least hindi na, ano yung sa TV talaga. Di ba? Nakapintahan ka niya. Naalala mo nung mula sa puso ba, Brother Boyet, check po pa natin yan. No? Ha? Yung Flor de Luna pala sa atin, no, Brother Boyet. Flor de Luna. Nakapintahan tayo. Naapitahan tayo ah. Kasi ano yung nakikita natin, magiging ganun tayo. Pero, pag palagi tayo nare-reminded sa salita ng Panginoon, we do not become to what we see on TV, we become to what we read, which is the Word of God. The Word of God renews our mind. Amen? Amen? Like tonight, you must be happy that you're in church. You must be thankful. 
you are in church. Why? Because when we are in church, we can be reminded of the living word of God. Hallelujah. Mayroon isang versikulo. Basahin na doon natin. Sige daw. Genesis 50 verse 20. 1, 2, 3. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good to bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. Si Joseph ito nagsabi, the dreamer, sinabihan niya yung kanya mga kapatid, ano yung evil plans ninyo para sa akin? Sabi ko ni Joseph, the Lord planned it for my good. Ano yung evil na binibigay ho ng kaaway sa buhay ko natin? Behind them galit. The Lord are working for your good, for my good. Biro mo, ang sarili mong kapatid, sampuho sila, sila ho'y nagano, sila ho'y nagkukunay, uh, natsapakano ese, kaya nakita intende, yan konche sila todo. Konche, 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 no? Nagkunay sila. Ibenta natin yung kapatid na yan. Imagine, yung sarili mong kapatid, Binenta at nagiging alipin, it was Joseph. But you know what? When he was in Egypt, you know the story. He became the prime minister, the most powerful man in the land. Everyone was afraid now. After they learned that their long-lost brother of the soul to slavery was now the very powerful man. They were so scared, shaking to death. They were shivering. Now, ito yung sinabi ni, ano, ni David, uh, ni Joseph sa kanila. Huwag kayong matakot. Because I am now understanding the plan of God. Kung hindi ninyo ako ibinenta, imagine, no? Kung hindi ako ninyo ibinenta, kung hindi ninyo ako, hindi ako naging isang alimin, hindi ako magiging na ganito ngayon. Sabi niya, huwag, huwag kayong mag, ano, huwag kayong matakot. Sapagkat, ano yung, ah, uh, Intention ninyo na bad for me, actually God used for my good. May tao ko ba dyan? Kaya may mga bagay-bagay yun na nangyayari sa ating buhay na minsan, we cannot understand they really are good. I mean, they really are bad. No human explanation can, can do but one single description, they are just but bad things. But God somehow used them to be good. I mean, God used them for our good. That's how beautiful our Almighty God is. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Meron mong isang istorya. Nabasa ko to sa isang libro. I love kasi to read. I would like to encourage pag may bisyo kayong mga kabataan, tayong lahat ko na i-develop yung bisyo sa pagbabasa. Pagbabasa ko ng Biblia at pagbabasa talaga. Yung kakayanin, you try to, ano ba, yung push na you can read one hour or two hours, or maganda three hours, four hours, or five hours, or beyond. Especially yung marami talaga kayong sa time, do not waste your time. Noon, may nabasa ko isang libro, may isang young American, very promising, at saka a working young American lady to a company. One, one day, the Lord talked to her na God was sending her to Africa. This was many years ago before computer and before how Africa is today. Kasi Africa is now a very developing continent, ano? May ibang, na, may ibang bansa na sa Africa na are rich countries. So, he, she obeyed the, uh, the voice of the Lord. She talked to her parents. Her parents objected. Of course, yung, yung anak mo na nagtatrabaho sa, ano, sa malaking kumpanya, nag-receive ng malaking sweldo, very promising, pretty, and young. So, may papa pupunta ko doon sa Africa, parang bundok na bundok ko yun eh. Hala, huwag talaga. Are there not other people here who, needs, who need the word of God? Sabi, hindi ho. God telling me to go really to Africa. Now, three days. May tao pa ho dyan. Before he, her flight, siya ho yung nagdisgrasya. Kaya, na-extend yung, ano, yung schedule niya. Pinutulugan kanyang isang pa, imagine that. The more, ang sabi ng tatay, hindi ka talaga dapat umalis anak. Nilagyan mo siya ng, ano, ng prosthetic na ano, pa, yung, ano, yung artificial na ano. Pum pumunta talaga, umalis yung anak. Eh, walang magawa yung mga parents. And then, 
she was assigned to a very remote village, way and far from civilization. In fact, these people down in the village were actually renowned cannibals. You know what are cannibals? Yung kumakain ho ng tao. Yung bulalaw nila, tao. Sa araw do, I read it from the book. And she was captured. <clears throat> Itinami yung totoo talaga ano, tsaka nagpakulo daw ng isang malaking ano, earthing pot. Uh, hangat na lang siya sa langit, gino. You know, Kung sa may plano ni Monaco, ikusaho siguro ko ane. Lagtan siguro ko. <laughs> sa Bisaya pa. Ay, himuon siguro ko ko ano. Uh, kini... Nagbutanan uh, siguro ko, kining gabi o kra. <laughs> Sabi niya, Dino, ikaw na yung mag-ingo na ko, ito yung hands, ako yung maso. So yung mga, yung mga Afrikano, yung wuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
masayang-masaya talaga yung sister. No, ngayon, hindi pa nila na-realize yun kasi hindi pa nila na-enjoy. But I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, si Lord talaga ay tapat. He is for us. He is for you and for me. Amen? Amen. Uh, there's this one verse. I'm almost done. Pwede natin masahin. Sige na. One, two, three. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to the mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done. It will be done. Sabi ni Lord, you talk down to your mountains, ikaw bukit. Mag-transfer ikaw sa, para mag, ano ka, loko, ano, sinasabihan mo, bulong ba ito? Mag-transfer ito na medyo del Santa Cruz Island in Bolivar. Ay hindi yung nangyayari physically, no? Pero let me tell you, pag nasa trials, ikaw pa yung DJ ngayon. He can command, you know, he can command his trials to transfer. Si mama talaga niya, sabi niya, Pastor, hindi ako makakatulog pag gabi. Sabi ko, ma'am, pag ganun gani, ma'am, mag-pray ka, ma'am, ha? Lumuhod ka talaga, ma'am. Yes, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. Sabi niya, Pastor, dami mang nag-a-advise sa akin. Yung iba, Pastor, pinapakinggan ko. Pero pastor, sa, sabi niya, sa inyo talaga ako nagiginig, pastor. Kasi I know, by God's grace, when when you advise, it is from the Lord. Kasi I advise you in the Word of God. Amen? Amen. Now, I would like to close now. Pwede na tayo tumayo. Pasahin na natin ito lahat. So, Zechariah 13, verse 9. Sige daw. Counts of 3. 1, 2, 3. And I will put this third into the fire and refine them as one refiner's silver and test them as gold is tested. They will call upon my name and I will answer them. And I will say, they are my people. And they will say, the Lord is my God. I'd like us to raise our hand and say, the Lord is my God. The Lord is my God. Kaho yung Diyos sa namin. Sabi yun ng Biblia, Sinusunog ng Diyos ano yung mga uh, undesirable sa buhay natin. Refiner's fire. Ginagawa tayo niyang pure gold at saka pure silver. Amen. Let's lift our hands and close our eyes.